most lawyers, in my experience, uh, do not always see it in that social context. That these problems are experienced not only by one farmer, and, it, it, and, it, and that is isolated. In most cases, the experience of a farmer in one village is also experienced by different farmers in the Philippines. And I think that's one of the, very, the, one of the most important tasks of lawyers, is not only to look at their problem in its very legal sense, but also to look at the root cause. Why is it happening to them? Uh, why are laws not being implemented? And wha what gives the landowners, for example, the opportunity to skirt the law so that they can avoid the implementation of agrarian reform? sa isinasagawang mabuyan, dumaan ba yan sa pagsusuri ng Department of Agrarian Reform at may nakuha bang conversion permit ang korporasyon para ang lupang bukirin ang sandaan at apat na apat na hektarya ng lupa ay gawin nilang mabuyan? Kung wala ang permiso, ang korporasyon, ang susunod na tanong, dapat bang ipatigil ng gobyerno, pangunahin na ni Secretary Pangandaman ng Department of Agrarian Reform, ang isinasagawang construction ng figuring doon sa prime irrigated agricultural land sa San Vicente, Sumilaw, Bukid Nun. Ganong kasimple lang po ang kasong ito. Hindi ito komplikado. Hindi tayo magtatalo-talo sa usapin ng batas. Pumabotan, sumulat pa ng October 2, 2007, mula sa Sumilaw, Bukid Nun, hanggang ito. Napakasakit po ang sitin. I know that the laws have to be improved. Uh, there are no perfect laws, but uh, the chair would appreciate If you face legislators uh, in, in Congress, then you are facing uh, politicians with uh, their, their own interests, business interests, political interests. And you are bringing to them the interests of the poor. And you are telling them, you have to, you have to pass laws that are for the poor. In a way, you are telling them, you have to work against your own interests. But because in most cases, the interests of the poor are in conflict with the interests of those who are in Congress. So you are, in one sense, approaching enemy territory if you work with legislators. Uh, not all of them, but in general, legislators belong to the upper class uh, of society. So here you are, a lawyer, supposedly telling them you are lawyering for, the, for these poor people. And in effect, you are telling them, your families are committing violations against these poor people. Your laws are not working for them. So we are pushing, uh, Your Honor, for the, for the extension, but with significant reforms that will accelerate the completion, specifically of the land acquisition and distribution component of the Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Program. Thank you very much. There is a big gap uh, between the justice system, between the courts and the institutions that we have in the country, and the poor, the marginalized groups. The work of alternative lawyering or the work of alternative law groups is to serve as a vital link that will bridge that gap. Most of the farmers, for example, indigenous peoples in Mindanao, do not have not even seen courts. They do not have a visual idea of how the judges look like. And, and even how you know paper with laws look like. Most of them see paper with laws for the first time. And uh, especially when our laws are written in English. Uh, they, they do not have any idea what it's all about. And they become surprised because suddenly papers come to them saying that they do not own the land anymore. Uh, and that's very difficult to understand. <laughs> Kami naglalakad dahil sa aming problema sa aming lupain na ito ay gusto namin makuha at ibalik sa amin. Nilakad natin ang 1,700 kilometers pero bakit hanggang ngayon? Di man lang kami pinapatok sa Malacanang, di ka lang natin masilayan ang palasyo. Bakit hindi niyo pinapayagaan ang mga kagsasakan ng sumilaw na makapasok man lang at masilayan ang palasyo? Sana kami sa gate dito, hindi kami magme-menjola. So kung mapayagay.
kaya ganyan kami dito. Naghihintay lang kami ng world. May activity pa lang si Secretary si, si, si Hermita. Hold muna tayo. Hold muna tayo. Dito po kami pwedeng doon banda magantay. Dito muna tayo. Isa itong protesta na mapayapa ang pamaraan! Hanggang dyan lang, masinip lang nila man lang yung gate ng Malakanya, maituro nila na ito ang Malakanya. Sabi mo lang nila sa 165 pounds, tapos binaw na nakita nila ang Malakanya, ganyan ang kanyang objective. Sa 1,700 nila, ang objective po nila ay makarating sa Malakanya. Kung yun lang physically makarating sa Malakanya, at yun lang ang kaligayahan na makakapigay sa kanila ngayon ng konting pag-asa sa kanila dito. So, okay na rin lang sa akin. We are using all available remedies that are existing. So we work within the legal system. We work with the courts. So we do litigation. But we also work outside the legal system. And by working outside, we mean we, we do work that will system, that will improve that system from policy making to policy enforcement to policy interpretation. And uh, that is in recognition that the law is not always responsive. The legal system is not always responsive to the needs and interests of the poor people. Attorney Arlene Bacao. Attorney. Attorney Marlon Manuel. Jane. Mrs. Jane Capacio. Capacio. Mrs. Jane Capacio. Bishop Gutierrez. Pabilio. Bishop Broderick Pabilio. Pinadala po kami dito ni President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo para ihatid po sa inyo itong kapirasong papel na ito. Yung petition for the cancellation and or revocation of the conversion order na nagko-cover doon sa 144 hectares of land sa San Vicente Sumilaw bukod noon ay binibigyan ng katuparan. So the petition is hereby granted. Thank you.